In today's video, I want to show you how to quickly add an AirPrint capable printer to your Mac. Now, this video is not going to show you how to set up an AirPrint printer. That's already been done, and this video is not for that. It's actually on how to add it. So in our district, for example, I've used a program called Printopia, and I've turned all of our network printers into AirPrint capable printers. And what's really nice about AirPrint is it's all point and click to add the printer, and you can also print from any iPad or iPhone device, basically any iOS or iPad OS device. And it's, again, all point and click. The old days of where you put in the network IP address of the printer, select the driver, all that stuff, and then oftentimes it wouldn't work anyways, is out the door. So I have a computer that sits in our high school server room that has all the printers installed on it and it has a program that's allowing AirPrint to work. So now how to add those printers, what you do is you click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner of your screen and you go to System Preferences. Then you want to click on the Printers and Scanners icon. And you'll see right now I've got two printers right there. This computer actually sits in my high school music office, so I have that printer already added. But let's say I want to add some other printers. You're going to see this little plus icon on the bottom left. To add a printer, you just click on that. Now what you're going to see is a list of all the printers that are in our district. And you're gonna see that they're followed by at High School Mac Mini. That just helps our staff know which printers are set up by me. And all you have to do is click on the printer. So let's say I wanna add High School Library Printer. So I just click on it. You're gonna see it's loading some basic information. Sometimes it'll take a moment or two. Then what I can do is under the name, I can change the name to be anything I want, or for example, I can take out that ending gobbledygook that I don't care about. You can put a location in, or you could take the location out. I really don't care about location, so I'm gonna take that location stuff right out. And then I'm gonna click Add. And you'll see now I've got the high school library printer added. So let me add another printer. I'm gonna click on the plus icon. Let's say I wanna add the high school hallway printer. I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to take out all that gobbledygook at the end because I don't like that. I'm going to delete out the location stuff and then I'm going to hit add. And now I'm ready to go in printing to that printer. Let's say I want to remove one of those AirPrint printers. Say it's something's just not working right anymore and I just want to make sure everything's okay. So what I let's say I want to remove that high school library printer because just something's not working right. I can click on the printer in the list and click on this little minus icon and then say delete printer. And you'll see in just a moment that printer will disappear. Then I can click on the plus icon. It's a little slower in this video because I'm actually remoting into one of my school computers, so it's, it's just a little more sluggish. Then I can click high school library printer again. Again, I'll take out all that gobbledygook. I'll take out the location and I'll hit add. And that is how you can add an AirPrint printer to your computer.